I'm going to share with y'all a portion from Niccolo Machiavelli's The Prince. And it's going to be six mistakes that King Louis made. And I'll just go ahead and read it to you. Now understand that the context of the videos that I make, you'll be able to link this, for example, to my last video, Weapons of Mass Destruction, by John Gatto. You can compare and contrast and see how these different concepts apply. And you can change it even into a metaphor and understand how it would reply to the way that school tries to foist information into your brain or, or build settlements inside of your brain and, or have an oligarchy kind of control your mind through bureaucracy and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and share this with you. It says, Louis had therefore made these five mistakes. He had destroyed the weaker powers increased the power of some already powerful in Italy, brought into that country a very powerful foreigner, stayed away from Italy himself, failed to establish settlements there. Even these mistakes, if he had lived, need not have been fatal if there had not been a sixth. His depossessing the Venetians of their state if he had not made this church strong or brought Spain into Italy, it would have been reasonable and necessary to crush the Venetians. But having taken those steps, he should never have let them be ruined, because while they remained powerful, they would always have prevented the others from moving against Lombardy. The Venetians would have opposed this unless it gave them control of Lombardy themselves, and the others would not have wanted to wrest it from France to give it to them, nor would they have had the courage to defy both France and the Venetians. If another should say that King Louis ceded the Romagna to Alexander in the Kingdom of Naples to Spain in order to escape a war, I would reply with the arguments used above that one must never allow disorder to continue so as to escape a war. Anyhow, one does not escape. The war is merely postponed to one's disadvantage. And if anyone should cite the king's good faith, which he had pledged to the pope, and his promise to undertake that enterprise in return for having his marriage dissolved in a cardinal's hat given to Rune, my reply is what I shall say later concerning the good faith of princes and the way they should keep their word. King Louis therefore lost Lombardy because he observed none of the rules observed by others who have seized countries and determined to hold on to them. There is nothing fantastic, fantastic about this. It is very commonplace and reasonable. I had a word on this subject with Rome and Nantes and Valentino as Caesar Borgia, Borgia, son of Pope Alexander, was popularly called, was occupied was occupying the Romagna. When the Cardinal of Rome said to me that the Italians did not understand war, I retorted that the French did not understand statecraft because if they understood it, then they would not let the church become so great. And the course of events in Italy had shown how the greatness of the church and of Spain has been caused by France, and how the ruin of France has been caused by them. From this we can deduce a general rule, which never or rarely fails to apply, that whoever is responsible for another's becoming powerful ruins himself, because this power is brought into being either by ingenuity or by force, and both of these are suspect to the one who has become powerful. So that's some interesting little facts for you there, and I hope that they help. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.